Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Kelly. I'm Brayden. We're the Magical, Magical Disney, Disney Pals. Pals. So last night we were supposed to do a video with the next five pins in the pin tag, but time got away from us and we forgot. But we have time right now and we're going to do so. But first, before we do that, I wanted to quickly just touch on something really fast. Um, I wanted to talk about what Brayden asked Santa for. So there's a few things he asked him for and I just kind of want to spread that out since we're getting closer to Christmas. So Brayden, what did you ask Santa for? Well, since I have a Nintendo Switch, I really want the new Super Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch. Yeah. Snow and maybe reach 200 subs. I mean, 300 subs. 300. That's getting close. All right. So, one, I can't tell you if Santa's going to bring you the game or not. You're a good boy, so I'm pretty sure he might never know, though, right? Uh, number two, we're getting hit with a snowstorm tomorrow. I hope so. <laughs> so maybe I hope so. a snow day for you tomorrow, but we're supposed to get eight to ten inches tomorrow of snow. Ooh. So you will probably have a white Christmas because I can't imagine it's all going to melt in a week. And then what if, if we're I. We're getting ten to eight inches of snow. Eight to ten inches. It's a lot I don't, of snow. I don't so doubt it's going to melt that quickly. I don't think so. I think it's going to stay here. So. I think you might get your white Christmas after all. Yeah, because that's thick. It is. A thick layer of snow. It is very thick layer of snow. So, what was that last one you were talking about? 300 subs. 300 subscribers. Oh. What if I told you I checked five minutes ago and we have 303? There's no way. You don't believe oh, me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. There's no way. There is. Apparently he doesn't believe me, so let's let's show him. How much did we have like last night? Two hundred and ninety six. So we weren't that far away. But still there was something that you were hoping you would have before Christmas, right? Um, Look at that. Magical Disney Pals. Three oh three. So thank you very, oh, very awesome. much everybody. So one of Brayden's Christmas wishes has come true for certain. I mean, the snowstorm could miss us tomorrow, but I highly I doubt it. <laughs> I hope it doesn't miss us. So I, I highly doubt the snowstorm will miss us, but until the snow is on the ground, I can't guarantee that it will be a white Christmas, right? So, um, so because that's something Santa can't control. Santa can only become a, one subscriber if he subscribes to you. That would be kind of cool. Santa Claus was a subscriber, right? Mm -hmm. And then Santa can't control the weather. So, unfortunately, he can't bring his Christmas magic and control the weather everywhere, you know? Yeah. So, but, and then the other thing, well, I, I don't know it depends if you were a good boy which you were a very good boy so you probably could have got that video game that you want so you know we'll find out on Christmas morning right so and Santa this year we went to go visit him at Cabela's which I have to say had the best and safest setup I've ever seen know, in my it, life it wasn't it was, even packed either like I felt we we don't my husband and I don't take our kids out in public because of everything going on. The only thing they do is go to school. Um, but again, that is you know a pretty safe environment as well. But I was very hesitant about you know doing the whole Santa thing. But with um, them wanting to go visit him so bad, I said, well, let me check out this Cabela setup, and. I, I have to say, it was awesome. There was I not know. a lot of people in there. They took your temperature. They made you sanitize your hands. Santa had a shield in front of him, yeah. plus a shield over his face, and a bench that the kids could sit on to take their picture. Yeah, And after, and after everybody them. was done taking their picture, they sanitized the whole area. So I just thought it was absolutely amazing. And it, what, the kids and it didn't had their, take that long to take your turn. It didn't it like take very long. And they gave you a nice little gift yeah. bag on the way out, and they gave you a picture. Hot cocoa packets and candy canes. That's right. We did. Did you want to go show everybody your picture? Just go grab it real quick. 
So, you know, because it's family tradition, we get a picture every year with Santa. So I was like, oh, I was really hating that we wouldn't be able to do it this year, but we managed to do it. So let's see if you guys can see it. So this is and behind our us, picture with Santa. Behind us, there's like this big glass shield yeah, and it doesn't her. even show it doesn't even show well I'm and then the santa's wearing of that. a face shield but that's our oldest son owen and then our youngest son casey and then our middle son brayden which you're all familiar with and santa so yeah so we were super happy that we got our picture after all with santa and again a shout out to cabela's because it was absolutely amazing yeah, and we really appreciate it very, very controlled very, very, very sanitary very so safe. i felt very safe exactly that was the most important thing i felt so all right now on to the section of pin number 11 through 15. this set is a little bit harder and more of a yeah. challenge for what we pulled but i think that we pulled it together pretty good um so you'll have to let us know all right so number 11 is pin with a story so this is the pin i chose Brayden won't remember this story because Brayden was only two years old when this happened. 2012. So there's this pin right here, which is the Wilderness Lodge. I, think I, I always I always get a pin from the resorts we stay at. So the story behind the Wilderness Lodge is number one, we weren't even supposed to be staying there. We had actually made our reservation for the Disney Value Resort of the movie uh, pop, uh, not pop, but the, um, you know, the movie resort, um, which is, you know, on the lower end, but, you know, affordable for families to stay at. So I had done the express check in with me and then my parents, we everybody got set up. So all I was supposed to do is just give them my license and they would check us in and everything to make a very long story short. When we got to the counter, the um, lady helping us checked in my parents. They were fine. And then when she came upon my reservation, she was having a little bit of an issue. Sorry about the clock. <laughs> You're going to hear some Christmas music in a minute. Um, so to when we got there, she couldn't quite... I told her I had already registered. She only needed my license. And I have to tell you... She asked for a supervisor's help, and in Disney, this is the only time I've ever really seen somebody not be super courteous, but the supervisor just looked at her and said, you need to wait, I'll be back, and he left, and I was kind of shocked by it, like, wow, you know, so she continued to try and figure out where our reservation was, and after a few, like five minutes, she still couldn't find anything. And I'm like, obviously we're here. It's paid for. I have everything um, ready to go. I actually have like reservation information. So I don't know what she did on the computer end, but she messed it up somehow. So then I don't know if she lost our room or what she did because we were supposed to have conjoining rooms with my parents. So we're supposed to be in the room right next door. So after, I would say maybe it was like, 20 minutes now we're holding up a huge line so they started taking um other you know other cast members started taking people behind us to get their reservations done because she somehow couldn't find mine messed it up whatever she did so finally a lady from not even that section had come over because she knew we were there for a long time that other supervisor she originally has had asked to help never came back so my father, unfortunately, was getting a little bit frustrated, and he said, forget it, we're just going to go stay at a Holiday Inn, da-da-da-da-da, and I'm like, Dad, relax, they're going to figure it out, everything's going to be okay, it's Disney, everything's always okay with Disney, it's just taking a little bit longer than usual. So <laughs> the woman comes over, and I don't know, whatever they discussed, everybody then went out back, including the woman who was helping us, and now we were just at the desk by ourselves. So then... A whole team from the back came out and said, okay, um, we're going to put you up at the Wilderness Lodge. Um, I know you want conjoining rooms. And I was like, wow, my God, my face was dropping. My dad had no idea what the Wilderness Lodge was. There's no clue. So I was like, dad, just be quiet. So I'm like, okay. I said, 
Now, is this just for tonight till you figure out, you know, the the rest of the reservation? And they said, no, ma'am, this is for the duration of your vacation, including your parents. I was like, are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I was freaking out. I was like, okay. And they're like, okay, do you want to have bunk beds for the boys and, a, you know, a king size bed and then your parents room has a conjoining room and I'm like yep whatever you can do that would be great we just want to sleep somewhere then they came over and you know they escorted us to the wilderness lodge we didn't have to wait for bus services or anything they brought us directly to the wilderness lodge my mind was blown it was the most beautiful resort ever and it was awesome and our room wasn't like a hundred miles away either it was like close to like everything it was like insanity so Braden probably remembers like the bunk beds or no you don't remember that oh because you know it was the first time he actually slept in a bed without a bed rail so have we ever gone he was to two. that movie place no we never went to the movie resort maybe because next time we go to disney we could go there maybe but i i personally like pop century better yeah but, i like pop century um, <laughs> i couldn't believe it so needless to say we got a major upgrade from disney just because you know whatever had happened and i made it known to everybody that i didn't know if there would be any repercussions against the employee who you know originally couldn't find our reservation but i made it known that everything that had just happened was not her fault because she did ask for help from a supervisor who refused to give it to her so you know whatever happened thank you i appreciate it but i i truly hope that she never got in trouble she was with us the entire time she walked us out to the vehicle said thank you and i'm so sorry this happened but i'm glad you got an upgrade and she was super nice wasn't her fault and yeah so that's the story of the wilderness lodge and it was beautiful there and we love it i would i you? love it i would love to go back there actually i would go back there just to see the christmas tree because it was amazing it was absolutely i want to go amazing. to pop century again pop century is awesome yeah i know it's nothing like, compared to the wilderness lodge but it I is know, awesome cause like then you have your little resort then outside of your resort i swear i remember there's like everything well yeah like these big walkways and everything yeah too, don't you remember the big blue we were next yeah. to blue and then yeah yeah so okay pop the Century's next awesome. pop century is awesome i like that actually the leffersons were just talking about the pop century they love it there too um okay so the next pin is stained glass pin I don't have a stained glass pin. I gotta be honest with you, I'm surprised I don't have the stained glass pin from Beauty and the Beast because it's like my favorite thing. Wait, I have a stained glass pin from the Beauty and the Beast? At the very end. Well, I, know, I don't know if there is a pin. I'm sure there is a pin. I just don't have it. I know that part. You know what I'm end. talking about? Because yeah. I even have a watch I got for Mother's Day with that stained glass scene on it. So I, why I don't have that pin is beyond me. But. The closest thing I could find to a stained glass was kind of like my Rapunzel pin. I know it's ribbons and stuff that that's supposed to be representing, but to me it kind of looks like it could be stained glass. So mm -hmm. you work with what you got. So yeah. the next one I'm also working with what we have. It's an ornament pin. Well, I don't technically have an ornament pin yeah. either, but this pin, reminds it me. reminds me of an ornament. I mean, it looks like it could be. I mean, it's got Christmas lights in it, and it looks like a present, and it's sparkly, and so we'll just say that's an ornament pin, right? Yeah. That works, right? Yeah. Okay, the next one is something we also don't have, but this one was Brayden's idea. Um, but I'm not going to take it off my big board, so we'll just show you the kind of whole thing, but we'll focus on that one. It's a New Year's Eve pin. So... What Brayden thought of, oops, I just lost it back into one, it's fine, is our pin collection right here at the top. The, oops, no, this one, sorry, the Disneyland 65th anniversary pin collection. Because it's still an It's kind of like an anniversary, so New Year's is like an anniversary, I guess. So we got the castle, the Disneyland logo, 65 years of magic, and of course Mickey Mouse. So yeah, that was Braden's pick for our New Year's pins. So that one. Here's the backing. 
All right, thank you. And the next one is a set you're most proud of. Well, we're proud of all our sets that we started on our collection board, which you guys have seen this one. But what we're yeah. most proud of, I guess, was going to be like our the, sodas. the delicious drinks because it's the only completed set we have. Yeah. So I and mean, I we're, like them. We're pretty close on um, our snowman. We're just missing Orange Bird and Jiminy Cricket. So maybe we could be on the lookout for that. But the most maybe any collection we're proud of. Disney friends have. Yeah. Orange if anybody has an extra Orange Bird or Jiminy Cricket. Uh, Jiminy Cricket I don't really have any snowman traders, but um, maybe we could do something else. But yeah, so Delicious Drinks is our first complete collection, and we didn't really have to do that much to get to it because every package braided open had all new pins in it. It was the craziest thing. Besides so, some, uh, what is it called? The Goofy Drink. Gosh, well, we had duplicates of that one. We but had we, only one. But we sent that to um, Jacob, Mr. Spontaneously Disney, and he sent us the Lion King and the Seven Dwarf Mine Train. So that was a good trade, right? Yeah. So, and we right. only had one double. We only had one double. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. So Braden was Talk good luck about with that. the Looney Tune pins. I say he's <laughs> not so lucky with his Looney Tune <laughs> pins. But, and again, I'll as. That's okay. As promised to Braden. Thank you, bud. Um, at the end of our tags, he's allowed to open one of his Looney Tune pins. I hope we get Marvin. Last time, I let him open both because it felt so bad that he had another Sylvester. So we have three Sylvesters, one Tweety. So pick which box you want. And again, I'll show you on the back the possibilities. Sylvester, Tweety, Taz, Daffy, Buzz, and... Marvin and Marvin is Brayden's favorite, but he also would like Bugs Bunny. You said right. Out of these so. two, I hope there's at least a Bugs or a Marvin okay. out of both of these. Ah, well, we'll see. Because those are the main ones I'd want out of this set. Right. At least a Marvin. If we get any other one, I just want at least a Marvin. I know, but. You get what you get, and you don't get yeah. upset, right? That's the rule. And like I, I said, mean, if anybody's if doing the Looney Tunes, we have traders. We have traders, right? <laughs> so if anybody's doing these Looney Tune ones, and you want to trade for a Sylvester, we got plenty. And we could. I'm trade, not sure what we're gonna have now. We could so. trade a Sylvester for a snowman. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. So moment of truth. Which one do you want? This one. All right. So that's the one for. This pin tag trade. <laughs> no duplicates. But that's okay. They turn into traders anyway. But let's just kind of. Yeah, let's hope it's Marvin. Cross our fingers. I'm so scared. <laughs> so nervous. Yeah, just pop it out. Okay, look. <gasps> it's Marvin! It's your lucky day! Yes! No, tomorrow, 300 subscribers oh, and, and now awesome. a Marvin pin. Oh, it sparkles! It sparkles! Oh, oh that's I'm awesome. so excited for you! I'm Yee. so happy! <laughs> that's awesome. Yay! I don't think this will be a traitor unless we get another one. No way! That's an awesome pin! Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> today we might go to the store and get a personal pin board for me. Yes, actually, we're going to go get a going big right on there. cork board because, see, <laughs> my collection of pins have kind of grown, and um, we're running out of room on our big cork board, so I said Brayden's got to get his own because he has all his own pins. So, oh, so yeah. So we're going to get him his own pin board today as Yay. well. <laughs> oh, Oh, there's something else. With 300 subscribers, what do you think we're going to do? What should we do? Show something or something. You want giveaway. to show something? <gasps> giveaway. How about a giveaway? Yeah. Is that going to be exciting? Giveaway. So for hitting 300. My brain was buffering for a second. I was That's like, okay. uh, show something. And I'm like, <laughs> show what? Show something. Well, we're going to show lots of something. Giveaway. So, because we hit 300, you got your Christmas wish, you got a Marvin pin. This is just all so exciting. 
So why not do... No Sylvester. <laughs> no Sylvester. We're going to do a giveaway for 300 subscribers. And it's a cool touch how it's glittery, too. I never oh, expected I love it. Yeah. to pull it out. Well, that's glittery. why it's probably the chaser. That's why. I know. When so. we go get that pin board, that is going straight on it. Straight on. <laughs> So, again, thank you again to all our subscribers. Thank you for everybody for sticking with us, loving us. We love you. <laughs> and because we love you, we want to do another giveaway, giveaway. for 300 subscribers. And um, <laughs> let's see. We're going to keep this giveaway open for two yeah. weeks. So two weeks from today is, is I believe, December 23rd. It was not too long ago because we I did know. it for Christmas. That's why, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, um, that's right. It wasn't for anything in particular. It was just subs. because... It wasn't for subs. Right. It was just because we wanted to spread some holiday cheer and... I know. I just I think remember. it's probably because I love shopping. Yeah. And I so that's why I, I gave you guys a gift card. I remember first subscriber. Of course. That was exciting. Okay, now actually... Two weeks from now is December 30th. So that's perfect. It's right before the new year. Wonderful. So Woo. this giveaway will end on December 30th, 8 o'clock, Walt Disney World time. <laughs> All right. So you need to be 18 years of age, a U.S. resident, and you need to comment. Let's what see. What does it mean by Disney World time? It means on the coast where we are. Because uh. remember, like... Where Thomas and Disney Mertz live is California, so it's three hours different. So when it's, like, right now, if it was 3 o'clock here, it's only noontime there. Okay? Ah, See, it's okay. three hours different. So at when it's 8 o'clock here, it's only 5 o'clock there. And it's 2.12 right now. Or no, 2.13. Well, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, is the three hours difference. So yeah. at eight o'clock, when the giveaway ends here, it will be five o'clock in California. So, which is Disneyland time, but we're on Disney World time because that's our home park. So yeah. that being said, I do love Disneyland and I do love that they're celebrating their 65th anniversary. Wait, so it's Disneyland? I thought it was Disney World. Disneyland is celebrating their 65th Wait, which anniversary. Came first, Disneyland or Disney World? Disneyland came first. And because they couldn't expand in California, that's why they came to Florida and built Disney World. Isn't California further away from Disney World from us? Yes. Which is closer, Disney World or Disney World? Where Disney World is closer. Disneyland oh. is in California. So, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm learning Done more with the and, lesson. <laughs> I'm learning more and more about Disney since we started this YouTube channel. I know. <laughs> um, all right. So, anyway... Again, like I said, uh, in celebration of Disneyland's 65th anniversary, and now the drawing will be done right before New Year's, we're going to celebrate with a Disneyland-themed gift pack. So we have the Disneyland uh, 65th anniversary backpack I actually had got at Target. So that was always fun. And inside, we have the 65th anniversary mug, the happiest place on earth. I mean, this Disney is, is pretty happy. Disneyland's 65th anniversary. Maybe this house is the happiest house on earth. Right now, it is the happiest house <laughs> on earth. <laughs> Happiest so. people on earth. <laughs> yeah. And then we're also going to include the same pins yeah. that we but have. We've got another set for Well, that's giveaway. us, but that's a set for a giveaway. And it's perfect for this theme because it's about to be 2021 as an anniversary. Right. right. So that's why I thought it was pretty cool, pretty good timing. And we're also going to throw in, because it's so much fun... We're going to throw in a magic carpet. Because <laughs> we got three of them on our last video. So you know what? Why not start the New Year's off with a magic carpet ride, right? So you're going to get the magic carpet. A mug. Ceramic mug. Yep, show the front side of it. Is it ceramic? It is ceramic, so be very careful. <laughs> the Disneyland pins. Here's a mug. Thank you. And 
the bag. The backpack. Which is Disneyland. Has a nice little zipper in the front. Even better Pouch. because you have all your other giveaway stuff inside of it. Yeah. While this awesome backpack. 65th Disneyland. All right. All right, so again, like you said, you have to be an 18-year-old or older U.S. resident. You need to be publicly subscribed to our channel. You need to like this video. And subscribe. And be sub publicly subscribed. Well, I just said that. You have to be publicly subscribed. Make sure you hit your little notification bell. And I think the comment we're going to put, since it's so close to New Year's, is what, what you would mean? you like to see happen in 2021? And maybe another right. comment you could ask, maybe like a this or that, what's your New Year's resolution? Well, that's not really a this or that. You have to, this or that is you got to pick one. Exactly. Well, you if you put a New Year's resolution, or it's pick. the same, it's kind of like the same question. Or but. you could put both, <laughs> maybe. Well, what I already asked is kind of like a New Year's resolution. Mm. So, sorry. Kind of. But so, okay, so we're going to comment, <laughs> what's your New Year's resolution? How about that? Okay. Yeah. So again, publicly subscribe, 18 years or older U.S. resident, like, publicly subscribe, put your notification bell on so you know when we're posting a video, and comment down below, what's your 2021 New Year's resolution? And be magical. And be magical? I guess. Okay, yeah. Be uh, magical, everybody. <laughs> whatever my imagination thinks of. I don't know. So, again, I'm so happy Braden got his Christmas wishes. So, we'll see if the snow is coming tomorrow. He got his Marvin pin, finally. The chase. The chase. And then we finally hit 300 subscribers. Yay! Yay! So exciting. Jazz so, hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> So um, that's it for today's video. We'll see you in actually probably four more days since we skipped yesterday. Yay. So we're supposed to do it every five days. We'll try to be more on top of it. So I guess that's all for today. Yeah. So don't forget to enter our 300 subscriber giveaway. And we'll be snowed in probably tomorrow. So <laughs> we'll be watching a lot of our YouTube friends with all their giveaways and stuff. And so be cuddled up in blankets. Be cuddled up in blankets. Cocoa. I like I like my new sweater that I got. Brayden thinks it's an ugly sweater. I said, but it's not really supposed to be an ugly it's sweater. It's like an ugly sweater jacket. It's not. It's really actually very pretty. It has a very nice design on it. I don't so. know why they're called <laughs> ugly sweaters. Well, because some of them are actually ugly. This one's nice. I like this I one. I mean, you have a pug one. Because it's which ugly. Which people call pugly sweaters. <laughs> it's a pugly sweater. So. It's not ugly. It's oh. adorable. It's ugly. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for today. So again, don't forget the rules. Contest time. Oh, I shouldn't say contest. Giveaway time. <laughs> and we can't thank you enough. And we're having a great time. Yay. This is so much fun. Making so many new friends. And we'll, we'll see, see you real soon. soon. Bye. Bye.